experience with the Blue Avians. The other night, it's really exciting. And, you know, coming into this new year, we're letting go of a lot of past experiences, past beliefs. And the, the Blue Avians, they've really came in and taken a lot of that away from me in my dream. And I want to talk a little bit about that. So what happened, I was in my dream and there was uh, just a lot of, uh, there's this like kind of blank space that I was walking around in. And there were all these blue avians that I were just walking around as well, <laughs> like the, the tall humanoid ones. And um, this blue avian came up to me and started like speaking to me, you know, telepathically communicating through energy. And uh, as that began to happen, uh, I began to shed some of the old, you know, programming, the old sorrow that I had for myself, like victim mentality and certain certain things, certain beliefs I had about myself started to kind of melt away and it felt really good. It was, it was like, it felt like I was kind of like dizzy almost and like it was just coming off me and it felt really good. And then the next day when I woke up, I just felt a lot better and felt more free. But yeah, the reason I brought this up is because, you know, we're starting the new year. We're having, you know, it's, it's an exciting new year. And so, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to, you know, channel a little bit from the Blue Avians. And uh, I believe it was that female Blue Avian that I encountered in the dream. I can go ahead and ask her during the channeling. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, I feel really honored to channel this energy through me and uh, not necessarily channel the words or the specific things from the Blue Avian, but just channel the actual energy. I just want to express it as best as I can through me. And that's that's the fun of it, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and ask her, was that her in the dream that I experienced the other night? Yes. She's saying it was her and uh, some other Bolivians, uh, part of their collective consciousness. They're just, they were just doing work on my vessel and my mind, clearing, uh, clearing the, uh, the thoughts that I was having, uh, like, thought patterns. I, I would get stuck in certain thought patterns and they help me with that. And I'm going to ask her what kind of messages and what kind of energy want, she wants to convey today. It does feel very peaceful and very uh, relaxing, so that might have something to do with it. <laughs> uh, she's kind of prompting several questions and saying, why do we come here to Earth? Why do we incarnate here? What is the reasoning behind it? What, why does this matter to us? Uh, she's saying there's several questions that we can ask ourselves that will prompt more growth and more expansion within us. Like, is this an illusion? Is this just temporary, what we're going through? Certain things in our lives. Can we look past certain things? Can we detach from certain things in our life to look past them in order to raise our vibrational frequency? She's saying, if this is an illusion after all, or if you believe so, we can always look past the pres or look past what's in front of us, <laughs> what's currently happening to us or what's happened to us in the past or in the future. Uh, we can reach a sense of vibration, a sense of stillness, a sense of light within us that nothing can touch. It'll always be there for all of us. She's not, she's saying this is not, <laughs> This may not be possible at all points of the, points of the day or points of time, but it is nice. It is nice that we can reach this state here in human form. And I feel her like 
or like wrapping her her arms around us kind of like as an in an empowering way saying that we all can do this it's it's almost like she's do, like wrapping her wings like that it's, it's, it's really cool we can all feel the light within us the light within this universe she's saying also what we can do is to ask you know to please align our reality with who with the highest vibrational reality that we want or with who we really are underneath of what we really want or what our soul wants not just of the material things of what's happening but even behind the scenes you know how we want things to feel in our reality she's saying knowing and feeling is one one thing but doing is another Many of you in these coming years may need to take more action steps into what you want, to be more determined in what reality you want to create. More than ever, it is more important to focus on more high vibrational things, more high vibrational content, what we put our place our thoughts upon, these things may amplify. Now I get her getting like really, uh, I don't know how to explain that emotion or kind of serious, but not like serious, like too serious. <laughs> Excited, sort of. And it's about uh, momentum, building positive momentum. She wants to talk about how our universe works, how things here will work on Earth, <laughs> how things are going to work on the new Earth and in the energy coming forward in the coming years. She thinks saying things are going to amplify. Uh, so building positive momentum in a way is something that can't be stopped. It is important to build this positive momentum of positive thoughts and a, and a high vibrational space, high vibrational mind to build these, the, these strong bases for things so that it will carry us in into years to come into the high vibrational frequencies. She's saying positive momentum moves faster move strikes harder it carries longer it is source frequency that you are more aligning with when you align with positive momentum with high vibrational frequencies is that it's positive this this source frequency will carry you into the new earth will carry you end to uh, your your these these years that are coming into your life she's saying we can always you know focus on the things uh, the negative things in our life but will it get us anywhere the negative momentum that we build makes us stagnant does not make us grow here on earth it closes our chakras Do we want to keep circulating, circulating the old patterns that we've always done? Do we want to keep doing this? She's saying, uh, I can help you as I have helped this one. She's talking to me as she's helped me the other night as well. Releasing these old patterns and moving forward in a different direction. Where do you want to go? And even if you don't know where you want to go, align it with who you really are. Who you, in source frequency and positive frequency. Once you make this step of, you know, becoming coming into the light and aligning with high vibrational frequency, you will you will know where to go. You will know your purpose. You will know your path. But until you do that, you may be lost. But she's she's saying in time, no one is truly lost. That is just what we call it here on Earth. 
it's just an ebb and a flow of things. There's going to be times where you're more lost and there's going to be times that you, you know, find your groove in things. She's saying we can help you just call us forth or she's saying you can ask your angels or wh whichever star seed that you resonate with or uh, enjoy the frequency of we can help remove these old patterns and thoughts okay she's done with that and she wants to move on to something else she's going to say your earth is special she truly loves through thick and thin all of us. No matter what we do here, it'll always have that eternal love for us, carrying us upon our back, her back. She's saying, if you feel like you don't belong here, think again. Your soul chose to come here on earth. You may feel not like you don't belong here, but you did choose to come here. The earth chose to have you here. The earth wants you here. Needs you here. <laughs> I have a feeling the earth really needs us during this time, especially during this time, difficult time here on earth. It really needs a lot of our light here. <laughs> It, it probably it probably couldn't you know ascend uh, have uh, many more people ascend if we weren't here in the first place holding this you know good frequency here <laughs> or better frequency than the, the old this blue avian saying she enjoys seeing us lift individually uh, lift in frequency growing as souls Finding that stillness within. Uh, but there's a time when uh, things have got to move, get to move, get a move on, basically. And I've heard her, you know, pushing me in my life uh, recently of what what do I want? What do I want to go next? What do I, you know, want to do with like with this YouTube channel? What do I, you know, what do I want to do? What kind of content do I want to create next? She's saying it all comes from within. We just have to find it. The next step is always there. It's always there. Going within is one of the most important things we can do at this time. Maybe not even projecting outwards because uh, during this time, it's a very like a rest time that a lot of us need to rest and to be here in peace. We don't necessarily need to do, 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 you know, Maybe it's more important for us to rest and to go within and to be be nice to ourselves and to love ourselves. But then there comes a time, as I feel her energy where it was leading to, is that we need to go ahead and be more determined with something that we want to do in life and uh, spread our light as best we can and build this light within us. She wants us to share our gifts. She said that's very, very important. Okay. And uh, that's going to be it for today's channeling. And I was just going to finish it off and with saying a few things. And that sometimes life can be pretty monotonous. And that certain things can be done over and over and over again. But, you know, th that's that's when you have to look at things and say, what do I want to change? What do I want? What do I want in my life? Instead of saying being in the same mentality, whether it's a victim mentality or any any type of circling uh, negative thoughts or just stagnant stagnancy in general, do you want to get out of it? Do you do you want to get out of this? And if you do, well, you can make those steps get out of it. No, nothing's holding you back. So that's one thing I wanted to say, and I hope you enjoyed the channeling. And uh, thank you for watching, as always. Goodbye.